Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as the Wargrove of Woe, going up against Clan Mulder, where we are very significantly outpowered here and outnumbered. Uh, we've got higher quality units, they just have a lot more of them. So, nearly three full stacks are coming against us here. Now, a lot of people, they'll look at the trash that's in the army and go, Oh yeah, that's easy. And yeah, that stuff's easy, that's not the problem. The problem here is the heroes. People often forget about how dangerous heroes can be, especially Skaven ones. Because these are relatively high level, they, they've got really good combat stats, and we don't have anything here apart from these two heroes, more specifically this one, that's actually good at fighting heroes. And it does take him a little while, especially because we're on Force March, because his melee attack is actually quite low. Damage output is good as though. So, Throt level 21, very high combat stats. You've got another Brood Horror here, and you've got Gorich, who is going to be very dangerous. We really need to figure out how to get rid of him as early as possible. And both of these chieftains, I think, are on Bone Breakers. Everything's on max battle difficulty. Let's jump in here and see what we can do. This is one of those kind of battles where we have to take every bit of advantage we possibly can. Which probably means we need to fight in the forest, because that's to our advantage, at least the terrain because it will give us a pretty significant stat boost, but also debuff their units. Because if we have a look here, hovering over this terrain with him, you can see that he gets a... It's, it says melee defense 115%. What that means is a 15% boost. I think it's a little bit weirdly worded, and it can be confusing for some people. I know some people think... See that, I've, I've seen so many times people say, oh, but it's a 115% boost. Trust me, it's not. It's a 15% boost. Creative Assembly don't love giving massive boosts like that just for terrain advantages. So what we want to do, just get these guys in here. I don't really want to blob up, because yeah, they've got a Spellcaster Lord, but not much Winds of Magic. They've got 30 Winds of Magic, which... Okay, I've got an idea. I don't know if this will work, but I've got an idea. I'm going to take two Dryads, and put them in control group three, and take two Dryads, put them in control group four, along with this one here. And their job is actually to annoy the enemy spellcaster. These here, I'm going to put them in the back there, but don't fire at will. Their job is going to be to take out the big monsters like Gorich and Throt the Unclean, that kind of stuff. Uh, they're going to be very careful in how we use them, but we just... Because, yeah, because we could get friendly fire, or we could just end up wasting their ammo. Do not shoot at Skaven Slaves. Gigantic waste of ammo. So, yeah, the plan here is to get the attention of their wizard. Just get them to cast the spells, because they don't have that much Winds of Magic. Because if we do that as early as possible, that way they're not going to hit our blob over here. Because we'll end up taking way more damage. So, get them in over there. Three, you move up a little bit. Okay, and let's start moving up. Now, this one here, we don't want it shooting just yet. Okay, so it's got Warp Lightning, five Winds of Magic. And the range on it is 200 meters. So if we get to about here and just stand still, they'll probably start casting on us. We'll try to dodge it as best we can. But honestly, even if they cast on us and they get a direct hit, at least we're in kind of loose formation. Now, they've got some fast units. Which is why I've got the Deepwood Scouts here to provide them with some backup. Yep, there it is. Get out of the way. Try to get out of the way. I probably could have just done nothing and it would have taken less damage. <laughs> that didn't really work out very well at all. But at least, main thing I came here to do, use up those spell casts. Because they're going to wait until their reinforcements arrive, which unfortunately isn't going to take that long. Alright, move forward this time. I just didn't want to get too close to there. Alright, that was a little bit bad. I only took three casualties. So that's two spell casts used up. Really wish we weren't on Force March. Alright, they're coming at us. Alright, let's start moving back. Oh, go, 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 go. They're casting again. Alright. Okay, put that one on fire at will now. Alright, I may need to have this one hold it back while the Deepwood Scout shoot. Because, yeah, the Deepwood Scouts are kind of worth more than the Dryads. Maybe it's a little bit. Kind of. 
Let's see if we're not doing much damage to them. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. That's too, too bad. We just gotta get away from these guys here, because really wish we weren't caught in Force March. That extra slowness is a big problem. But getting rid of that is good. Come on, keep casting your spells. You've done three so far. And there goes the Rat Ogres. That's good. That's good. We only took a few casualties. And let's lure them over here. Good. That one's gone. Another thing to keep in mind as well, I guess they... Oh, that's going to be annoying. Because, yeah, those are very quick. Um, I really wanted to shoot at this, but if I put on... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a problem. Hmm, I'm going to do this. Yeah, just fire at will, because I think, I think it might be a little bit difficult for us to get back at all. Right, you just charge in there. I reckon they'll cast another spell. Yeah, sorry, another thing they've got to keep in mind is they've actually got to charge up the magic, because they would only have about six reserves to begin with. I'll hold them back. And you need to shoot those night runners. Oh, okay. Okay, that's number four. We definitely don't want this one here shooting at just trash. Yeah, that unit's going to get wrecked. Can't stop it. But I might be able to get it off the battlefield, so run out this way. When it eventually routes, at least they'll give up on it. So that's a few casts that have been spent. Okay, don't fire it well now. Yeah, shooting at Skaven Slave Spears is... You actually lose balance of power by doing that. Okay, getting back. Uh, none of our guys are hidden, but they know exactly where we are, it seems. Honestly, if you can keep this guy busy for a moment, that could be good. Because, yeah, I don't want to really fight that one at all. Can be avoided. Uh, if, if they could use that spell again, because they've used up... Well, they need time to charge it. Mm. God damn, I, I hope we can get a good Dwellers Below in on those guys. Alright, we got Wolf Rats coming in here. Yeah, you fight, fight really again. Yep, you're going to have to charge uphill against that. Luckily, the terrain disadvantage for height is not that big of a deal. But I definitely want to try to keep this one alive. Yeah, just keep running, keep running, that's fine. Keeping the rattling gun away, that's good. Ugh, caught a bit there. Alright, they see where we are, but that's okay. That's okay, we're not moving from this position. I just hope what we've done is enough so that their spell casting doesn't totally demolish us here. But yeah, I didn't really expect these two to make it back. But, you know, they, they did a decent amount of damage. Got this one on fire wheel, but yeah, he's not shooting at that one. I've right, got to get it back to where... over here, where they'll be safe. Because we haven't taken that many casualties yet. But yeah, getting caught in Force March, it hurts, because you're slow. So we've got Skaven Slave Spears there. Uh, there's a forest over this way if we can get away from them. For long enough. Okay, well that's actually good that they used the Rat Ogre or someone on it. Oh no, got caught. Too slow. Because yeah, that's not going to get in over here, where it could really do some damage. Because yeah, I was never going to get that back over here it seems. Was hoping they would cast a few more spells, but... Oh, unless they actually overcasted a couple of them, which they may have. Yeah, they may have overcasted the first few and and then spent it all, essentially. Alright, so that unit, they're going to ignore it now, I hope. And it looks like it will survive as long as we win. Let's hope this is worth it, because obviously it was a fair bit of sacrifice to take out a couple of units and some of their magic. But I do think it was important. Alright, I was hoping to get into a forest to get that buff, but they're not going for it. And unfortunately, because we've got Enforced March, a unit that we could otherwise have outrun is actually catching us. Don't get caught in Enforced March. And there's his second summon. Okay, now, let's start casting this and get these two over here, start fighting. Uh, it would be good to kill Thrott, for sure, but I just think, realistically, it's going to take us a little while to do that. Okay, bring him in. And come in over here. I don't like that they got mixed in like that. Try to get out if we can. We just need a few of them to actually leave the battlefield. 
and they'll st the unit will survive. Back here, if you can. So just, just withdraw from the battlefield there. Okay, cool. Alright, now we've got pretty good blob here, but there's still a fair few infantry to come in before I really want to get into massive dwellers below. So these ones here, yep, get them in there. Make sure the dryads are giving them some support. Come on, route. Because, yeah, they couldn't actually beat this game, so this thing is there. If it got to the forest, we would have. Okay, really decent blob there. Not worthy of dwells below just yet, because yeah, there's a whole bunch still on their way. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll have enough magic for two. So yeah, let's pop that down now. I don't think that's going to be a huge amount of damage, but it'll be... Just get rid of the first wave of their infantry, essentially. And so we can focus a little bit more on their heroes. Because what they... Okay, that's, that's one thing we got to do. Right, this one here. Get them to... Okay, get this into control group 5, these as well, 5. And we want them to be shooting at any heroes that have a good clean line of sight. Uh, throt, Throt, go for Throt, there he is. Okay, the rattling guns shooting at us are really not too worried about it. Looks like they're trying to aim for our archers. Yeah, they're not doing that much damage, don't worry about that. Are you still... Come on, just rout already. The unit will still survive, but you got to route. Just hit them in the ass, go. Actually, no, they beat them. How about that? I don't know how that happened. All right, we need a bit of a heal over here. All right, how'd that first dwellers below go? Pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, big group of infantry coming in. Are those rattling guns doing anything? Uh, they're doing a bit, but I don't really have any feasible way of getting at them at the moment. What's going on with this unit here? It's obstructed. Alright, well, we're trying to shoot at Throt, but I'm not sure if they're actually doing it. Yeah, we didn't waste all their magic. That definitely looked like an overcast, though. You just stay over here. Can't tell them to actually withdraw from the battlefield. So they've got Force March. Yeah, they're just not doing what I want them to, and just have a charge in there. Didn't adequately protect them. Trying to shoot at Throt, but they're just not going for it. This is why using archers in forested areas is not ideal. Okay, Gorich has done a fair bit of damage. We want to take him out as quickly as we can. Big group of infantry coming in. See, if we had gone wide, then they would go wide. But us going into a tight formation, like, we're, we're holding out. But we'll be able to eradicate these guys so bloody quickly. Good, the rattling guns are coming into melee. They actually got a decent amount of damage in. Our poor lord over here is getting absolutely smashed. Gotta wait for them to properly commit, because if I cast a spell on them right now, they'll just move out of the way. Unfortunately, our archers, they just... They're not shooting. We're not getting any damage in on Throt, and he's just sitting there dishing out damage to us constantly. Maybe that one might be easier. Alright, we can't lose our Lord here. That would be really bad. Right before the big commit. He's got regen. Okay, here we go. Alright, okay, now we're finally getting some shots in on him. That's good. How much damage have they done so far? Ugh. Don't rely on them too much. These ones here are very badly damaged. We've just got to focus on getting the win. How are we going with this? That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage there. But I did say that their heroes were going to be the biggest concern, didn't I? Alright, try to go for Gorich. He's kind of in the open now. We can't really aim at anything where that's close to our Lord. Because he gets smashed up by them. Again, get this guy here off the battlefield, that'd be awesome. Okay, I've got a little bit of Winds of Magic left. I could I could maybe get one non-overcasted dwellers below. Off. Maybe. Because yeah, it's, it's definitely better to overcast that spell. 
Okay, that guy's gonna leave. That's good. We got some really badly damaged units. I'm gonna try to put them in reserve if we can. Alright, put that down there. Okay, just try to get rid of their heroes as much as possible. Alright, they're sending someone over here. I, like I said, I can't withdraw this one from the battlefield. Alright, you, what are you shooting at now? Uh, Gorich is just about gone. Definitely would be good to get rid of him. He did 15,000 damage, but he's anti infantry, so he was always going to do a lot of damage to us, I think. This one here, oh god, that one did a lot as well. Yeah, all their heroes were definitely the big problem. And Throt still hasn't used his regen cap. Alright, you guys shoot Throt there. Oh man, all of our dryads are so worn out. The Malevolent Treekin are doing pretty well. Okay, we've got one last spell that we can use. Let's pop that down. Definitely would be good to kill him, but let's just focus on getting the win. Okay, what's wrong with you? You're obstructed. You guys that are in the way. Okay, try to keep him out of the archer's way, because otherwise they won't shoot at Throt. Throt's at his regen. Well, we can see his max regen cap. Just need to bloody get rid of him. I think part of the problem here is that the malevolent tree kin are here, and they are causing our archers to not be able to shoot. I was wondering if that was the army losses, but it wasn't. What happened? We killed the... No, we didn't kill. We, f we routed the enemy commander. Which I thought was this guy. Okay, at least Throt's left the battlefield now. That's good. All right, get back over here, guys. I don't think any of our units have been wiped out yet. So that's good. So far. Oh, God. This one ran too far over here. All right. These here, just be careful what we're shooting at. Maybe don't fire at will just yet. So let's see how much damage we did with this. 100,000. Holy crap. Yeah, just get them off the battlefield. That's it. Bring them in. We want to be fighting in here. All the Dryads are getting extra melee defense. We don't want to be fighting out here. And especially considering there's missile units here. We don't want them shooting us. Alright, some of our units are so badly damaged. Okay, I need to create another control group of units that are really badly damaged. That I'll take out of combat. Oh, what the fuck? What's this guy doing here? It's like at our rear. Get rid of him. That's it. Just get him off the battlefield. Let's focus on getting the win. Bounce power is still in their favor. Still playing their music. Where are you, where are you guys? Yeah, get away from them. Go after the uh, the Skaven Slave Slingers. This one over here if we can. Might actually make it back. I think some of our units routed, but I don't think any of our units have actually been wiped out. I'm not 100% sure, though. That rattling gun's still hanging around. Would have been good if we had actually killed the enemy lord. I don't think we're going to kill any of these heroes. Uh, but yeah, if we had actually killed them, so that it would have been a mo more permanent leadership penalty. But it was enough to at least get Throt off the battlefield, which is important. Alright, uh, they've got artillery. How am I going to get rid of them? Maybe we'll just army lost them before they get here. That's all I can really hope for, I think. Okay, so control group 7. Yep, there. That's all in there. Uh, I, I, hang on. These ones here are relatively short range. I can bring my archers out over here and maybe shoot at them. That might work. Don't worry too much about the, uh, the Skaven Slave Slingers. Okay, get back, get back. Everyone get back. Alright, this one here, control group 7 for you. You're done. Way too badly damaged. Yep, you're now control group 7 as well. Can't believe that we're actually got, getting this one back. Alright, we need to be shooting at those rattling guns. Okay, you, just move back and back. Draw them in, that way. The, the, the more trees that are between us and the rattling gun, the less chance they've got to shoot. Okay, actually, just get back again. We're, we're too blob up here. They're not going to shoot properly. Got a handful of units that are, oh, hang on, watch out, that are in okay shape at best. Actually, the um, the malevolent tree men—they're not too bad. 
Oh god. Just freaking slow buggers. Alright. Shoot at the rattling gun there. In fact, this might be so difficult for them to actually aim at us here that these guys might come into melee with us. Maybe. It's look. I think it's looking pretty good. I know it's still playing Skaven music, but I'm feeling confident now because a lot of the most, the actually most dangerous units are gone. Alright, a lot of our shots are getting blocked as well, but it is what it is. Good, yeah, like I said, the warp fire throw is actually coming into melee now. No, you're need to move into control group seven. Mm, yeah, anything that's gone down below 20, 20 entities, put into control group seven. Uh, yep, that seems fine. Make sure we're shooting into their biggest cluster here. I don't know where their artillery is. They probably just didn't even advance with them. Because I know that the third army had artillery in it. He's used up all of his regen now. But he has done really well for us in that battle. I think it was well worth it to get those dwellers below in. And it's always worth it to overcast that spell these days. Because it's not that much extra winds of magic. But it's a lot of extra damage output. Oh my god. We are really running on fumes here. But they're sending in high value missile units into melee. So that's... We're trading really nicely. Alright, now that their missile units have committed to melee, since some of our shots are getting blocked, we need every bit of balance of power we can possibly get, so I'll bring them around over this way and shoot into their flank, now that they're... It's going to be a bit safer for them, basically. But yeah, the Treekin are doing very nicely for us. Still no army losses. I mean, we probably would have inflicted the army losses if it didn't take so much damage, but I don't see how we could have avoided this kind of damage. I'm still feeling reasonably confident. Make sure we fight together as much as possible. Don't give move orbit. Move orders. Give uh, attack order. Uh, look, okay, fighting a rattling gun in melee is fine. If that's what they want to do, no big deal. Because they're going to next to no combat stats, it's fine. Do you know what I think? I think that the enemy artillery not being brought over here is what's causing them to not suffer the army losses because if I was to take out the artillery, like just getting them to drop it, for example, like if this one could stalk over to them and just get them to drop it, then they would immediately lose, I think, just because they'll lose so much balance of power as soon as it drops. Well, the warp fire thrower had other plans there. They didn't take too many casualties. So annoying when you try to click in a unit that's just mixed in amongst yours, and it's like, you want to give a move order. No, I'm clearly trying to click a unit. Why does it prioritize move orders? I guess it just expects that the player isn't going to micro, because, I don't know. <laughs> it's... Alright, so the ones in here, they're still okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there were the artillery. Alright, and we'll run down as much of them as we can. But yeah, we got the win there. And I don't think any of our units got wiped out. But we also didn't kill any of their heroes. So we'll just have to see what they do. They might, they might just attack again. Because we're so badly damaged. But you know, we get all of our magic back. I don't think we're going to catch them. Because we're in Force March, everyone's bloody tired. And the rats are bloody quick, so yeah. We don't have any fast units. I can't catch them. Okay. So let's have a look at the damage here. Yeah, every single unit was preserved. So he doesn't have to replace any of the units. Just needs some time to replenish. Maybe next time don't go into Force March. But we did lose three, uh, sorry, two-thirds of our army. Which the enemy forces did not lose two-thirds of their army. We actually, relatively, took more casualties than them. Yeah, none of the heroes got killed. Oh no, except for Gorich. We got rid of Gorich. But all the heroes took a lot of damage. Look, look at Throt's army. This is the one we hit with the, uh, with the dwellers below. They all just routed. And the thing is, it's good if you are in this situation here and 
they're um, they're sending you know disaster in order resolve. These guys here having routed means that they weren't doing any damage to us. We got them off the battlefield. They lost all their balance of power. That really helped towards inflicting the army losses. But yeah, these guys here not taking them out probably was what kept them in there. But that's okay. That gave us time to kill these ones, so that's fine. All right, we can get 15% replenishment, a little bit of money, or... Yeah, definitely go with this one here, I think. All right, looks like we're in a pretty good position here to be able to... Get him. What the hell? Why would they make this attack? Oh, this is a... This is like a... Event army. Yeah, yeah, you're good. This is on very hard battle difficulty, so... Yep, okay. Alright, let's have a look here. Good, you were just within re replenishment range there. If you were one step over, you wouldn't have gotten any. And they didn't get any replenishment. Oh, so you know what that means. Hopefully we've got enough movement to be able to wipe them all out. Especially the heroes. Don't worry too much about Throt. Because Throt's immortal. And his army is shit. And if we wipe him out, he'll just come back with something better. But if I could take this army out here, probably would be easy to do an order resolve as well. Those weren't attached to the armies, were they? No, because those were the ones that we just fought. These ones here, they would be a, they would be weaker if we had just fought them. All right, so let's hit this first. Should have enough movement to get this one. Should be an easy order resolve. Yep. And this is on yep highest battle difficulty. So the order resolve is you know. As tough as it's going to be for us, which, you know, not very. So they've got a fair bit of Skaven Corruption in this area. So by getting rid of these armies, we can strip it a little bit. I reckon that should be a pretty good auto for us. Yeah, very few casualties. Would have been fine to go into melee. It's just, it's still got the heroes and the magic. So would have done some damage to us. And let's go with the replenishment there for you. And yeah, I didn't think we would have enough movement to get both of them. It's definitely tempting to get rid of Throt, because just having him out of play for five turns, that, that would definitely have a lot of value. But the thing is, he's going to be out of play for five turns anyway, and his army is shit. Sometimes it's okay to let the AI get away with the army they've got if they've recruited a bad army. And his army, just it couldn't be worse. Like, he doesn't boost any of these fucking units at all. This is the worst fucking army he can possibly build. So yeah, you go, run off, and go get yourself some more Skaven Slaves. Because if we wipe him out, he, he might come back and actually have a lot of boosted units. So while he's got that trash, yeah, let him go. Now, these heroes here, none of them were immortal. So getting rid of them should be the priority, I think. Yep. Because, yeah, getting rid of their high-level heroes, that really sets them back. It's one thing to get rid of, a, like, a good troop. But if they've got a hero at, like, level 15 or something like that, getting rid of that character should be a top priority. Okay, we don't have enough movement to hit Throt. But, honestly, even if we did, I would actually recommend let him go. Let him go. Let him... Because... One thing about the AI is that even if they've got loads of money and better access to units, they never disband their units unless they're actually broke, which is definitely not going to be broke now. So yeah, let them run away with their Skaven Slave Spears. Because that means they're just going to come back with Skaven Slave Spears. Well, at least those ones. So you've got this Kappelberg. It looks like that got sacked. But, you know, you've got things under control now. If we have a look at Throt... He is not going to be that much of a threat to... Uh, it won't take him that long to recover. Let's see his territory. Man, he got all the way to Talapheim. Damn. We'll put a stop to that. If we have a look here, we can see if there's any other armies nearby. Yeah, there's an army over here. See that little flag above it? There's an army there. But yeah, you can get to Talapheim, I guess. And... So, oh, look at this. Whoa, that's bad. Holy crap. Who did that? Was it... <laughs> that's, that's not good at all. Is that Skaven that did that? Holy shit. God damn. Um, can find out who did it based on the corruption that's in the area. Yeah, it's it's Clan Scryer. Let me just check to see we, down here. I reckon they own it all. Yeah. Well, wow, that's bad. At least Arguelon isn't wiped out yet, so you still 
could potentially... Man, I didn't even like you. Could potentially recover and take that out. But yeah, you got to get rid of... Um, got to get rid of Throt first. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one here. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.